After the winter months are coming across the country, and Canadians are hesitating to turn on the heat. Why? Because they're already paying more for gas, they're already paying more for groceries, and now thanks to this Prime Minister, more for home heating. In fact, in some cases, 300% more. So will this Prime Minister cancel his plans to triple the taxes on gas, groceries and home heating? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. It's interesting, Mr. Speaker, that they would talk about energy poverty, because when they were in power, you know the first thing that they did? They cut energy efficiency projects for the lowest income Canadians, Mr. Speaker. Hundreds of people were laid off. What did they that's, that's the first thing you did when you came into power in 2006, Mr. Speaker. Then what did they do? They eliminated subsidies for, for, to help Canadians buy electric vehicles. Then what did they do? They eliminated support for renewable energy projects, Mr. Speaker. So if there's energy poverty in this country, it's because of the Conservative Party were in power for 10 years. Here, here. I, uh, I just... Mr. Speaker. I, I, be, 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 one, one moment, one moment. Some of the comments have not been very parliamentary. I just want to remind the honourable members, the honourable member for Edmonton Riverbend. Okay. Mr. Speaker, under this Prime Minister, people can't afford to heat, eat and live. Does he not realise that almost half of Canadians are $200 away from insolvency? And a recent report now indicates that families spend more on income taxes at 43% than they do on basic commodities at 35.7%. That means a young couple who emailed me from my riding, James and Debbie, cannot afford to put their little girl into skating. So will this Prime Minister cancel his plans to just increase their taxes? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. We understand that Canadians are struggling with the cost of living. That's why we have a plan to double the GST tax credit. And I am really glad all members of this House, including the members opposite, are supporting that plan. And Canadian families will be getting nearly $500 in inflation relief soon. Now it's time to get together, support the rental payments, support dental care for kids under 12. And by the way, I wish the members opposite would support for Edmonton families our great daycare plan, which is lowering the daycare costs for that family by 50% this year. The Honourable Member for Victoria. Mr. Speaker, Canadians want bold climate action, and workers want to know that they'll have good paying jobs for the future. But the Liberals have failed to deliver. Instead, they're giving billions of dollars to rich oil and gas companies while workers and communities struggle. Unions, environmental organizations and workers have been calling for a clear path forward, an industrial strategy and investments in good, clean jobs. The global economy is already moving towards a clean energy future and Canada is failing to keep up. My question is simple. Why is the Liberal government leaving Canadian workers behind? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources.